What's up, YouTubers? It's Friday. It's Friday, November 9th at 11 o'clock. We're in Camas right now, heading our way up to Mirror Lake Highway. We're going to go uh, find a frozen lake or a lake that is freezing and get off road. And I'm going to do a video. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some of my favorite places to mount GoPro cameras here inside the FJ. So stay tuned. Here we go. And while you're waiting for me to get up there, which is going to be like really quick, hit subscribe, please. You don't have to watch any more of my videos. I just need a few more subscribers, you know what I mean? So I can get my monetization back. Once I get that back, I can... What I did before when I had it monetized, 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 I would take the $40 a month that I made <laughs> and I would uh, spend it on junk and gear for the for the channel so I want to get that back help me out all right so looks like we're here Okay, we're at elevation 8680. Snow has snow has come and stuck to the road. Okay, so we are on forty one zero four one. This road used to be four-wheel worthy, but they graded it uh, sometime last year, I think. So now, I mean, it's a two-wheel drive road. But there's some lakes up here somewhere. Coming up on the left, if I remember right. Okay, man, we're here. <coughs> Two inches of, three inches of snow on the ground. Still kind of fluffy. Uh, I want to show you this. This right here is the GoPro. Oh shoot, what's the name of this? I think it's a claw. It's got a strong grip. It's got another little bungee cord on the inside. This one is one of my favorites for action photos while you're riding your Harley, while you're out four-wheeling. Uh, a lot of versatility of what you can do and where you can do with this. I got another favorite right here. All right, so this is my other favorite. This is kind of, this is, I got this, it says Fat Cat Novelty Collection on it. You can get these on eBay, Amazon, or for about two bucks delivered. Go to AliExpress, Alibaba. And this got a lot of flexibility like this. You can clip it on like so. You can shorten it up, clip it this way. The top part swivels, so once you got it mounted, you can turn it. This is another one of my favorites. 
Uh, this mounts easily to your backpack. Uh, your backpack straps. Uh, you can mount this to your sun visors inside your vehicle. You can extend this out and just slip it over the visor. I do that a lot for, you know, straight on while I'm driving point of views. Uh, this you can also set down on a place under a rock as you straddle it in your truck. A lot of flexibility here. So, let's see what we can do with mounting these on an FJ Cruiser for really cool shots. And I'll show you my favorites. And then if you'll, after you subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment down below which ones are your favorites and if there's any that I missed. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how much flexibility we have with our roof rack. This thing mounts easily to the inch and a quarter pipe and you've got unlimited options of mounting it and then aiming it for your point of view. So this one's good where you get a corner of your hood in the bottom right of the frame. And you can see up ahead, wide view, you get the horizon. Linear view brings it in a little tighter, you can see more details. Uh, but right here, now I've got this round piece of shit light bar uh, in the front that's nothing but daytime running lights. Doesn't throw any light out at night. But, and it's about two inch. This thing mounts to it pretty good. It's got a good grip. Point it forward. My problem is I can't put it there when I'm normally out exploring, camping out because I got my cargo box up on here with all my shit. Uh, but there's always room over there in the corner where I could get it right there or over here. there you can always turn it around shoot some shots of your buddies that are uh, coming up behind you when you do that radio them or let them know they're being videoed so they can tailgate you or pass you or geek you and add to the video fun center racks up here I don't like them that much for this because it just doesn't get enough of a grip uh, I really prefer being out here you can come here aim it around window up window down you can kind of point it at the rear view mirror and the other thing I like to do is uh, sync this up, Wi-Fi it to the iPhone so you got a monitor to view what you're shooting. Then you can really angle it and get some really cool shots uh, that way, depending on where you are too. Okay, your roof bar up here, unlimited possibilities for rear facing shots. Hook it on, turn it around, get low if you want uh, to get even lower. I don't think I need to tell you how to work your GoPro, but this arm is just really flexible. Alright, 
so look your rock rails strong point perfect size actually it's about the same size as the roof rack up there and diameters this gives you a lot of good places to mount click it on aim it adjust it and you can get that suspension Putting it back here by the back door allows you to come up a little bit higher. Another point of view that way. Kind of show the scenery, the roads, the trails, and some of the obstacles that your tire's avoiding. And then, if you want to go this way, uh, I mean, you can get down, you can watch your articulation and your suspension moving. This could also be good for troubleshooting. You're going, what do you mean? Okay, well, you hear something loose and rattling, but you can't find it. You can hear it, but you can only hear it when you're moving so many miles an hour. Mount this on your roof rail, on your rock rail and point it at different parts of your suspension. <clears throat> that way you see it working. But if you got an FJ, which most of you are, because you're so smart people, you don't have to worry because you don't have any suspension problems. Ever. Another thing you could do, but it's not one of my favorites, would be to even mount onto your door handle for a view going down the road that way. Okay, never quite shot like this. I've got it mounted on the uh, door handle. Seems like it should be okay. But here's what I've got on the other side, which is really my number one go-to location. Let me show you that. Alright, so this one right here, I've just got one of those flat GoPro mounts with the uh, sticky back tape on top of the mirror there. It's been there for, I don't know, all of six months. That's my favorite because I can plug in here. Now let me show you. I can plug in to keep it powered up. I can use this as a dash cam, trail cam. Just like that. From the driver's seat, I can adjust it. Am I recording this? So I can adjust this up or down depending on what I want to do with my GoPro app on my phone right there. That's my monitor and my controls. I can increase the exposure, the frame, the uh, frame rate. A lot of possibilities there. And then when I see something off on the horizon, I just pull the mirror in. Those of y'all driving a Lexus, 
or a better vehicle with power windows with a 4Runner. Yeah, you could do that. Like that from your mirror, folding mirror thing. You can turn it around and shoot your, I call your exit point of view. And then you can also bring it back around for a wider exit point of view. Between this one and this one, the claw grip, <laughs> I'll turn it around this way. The claw grip, and I just call this the uh, clothesline clip. It's got, it's got a pretty strong grip, got good grip in it. And then just a couple of flat mounts you got a lot of possibilities. So you've seen, and now you're, you're even imagining places you can clip this onto yours. If you've got a front bumper that's tubular, or it's got the overhead crossbar, which I don't, this would mount on there real cool and get you that real front, perfect point of view right there up front. Uh, without that, we can always glue a uh, flat mount up there and you can control it and watch it all from your monitor from your uh, from your iPhone so let's look at where I like to mount this I'll show you that now okay so before I forget <clears throat> there's four other really good places that give you unlimited possibilities for mounting the claw inside and that's your grab handles so this one here, I mean, the, it could be bad weather and I don't want to get outside. I can mount this on here, face it forward, and get a good POV like that. If I want to let everybody know what, what that is, is I can leave a little bit of the, the uh, A-pillar in the frame or I can move it out a little bit. Uh, it also allows you to it around and see here's my GoPro uh, app I can see what I'm doing I can control everything from right here so I go hello uh, but that's a good place right there I use both of those frequently here's another one that uh, I'm not a big fan of it might I mean you can, I mean, you can mount it here. I don't like that point of view. Uh, I mean, if you want to get your, you know, part of you and your passenger, whoever's riding shotgun with you, their reactions is going up. That's a good place. Uh, I just don't like it there. Now, mounting it over here is a different, is different because it's out of my way. Again, that claw grip gives so many possibilities, but what I like over the over here is I've got a USB power port I put to the left of my rear curtain uh, RSCA button in your mirror controls, so I can power up and keep everything charging over here. I've also got it over here. Where I added one and it would reach <laughs> so so what's the point I'm getting at uh, point I'm getting at is look around man there's so many places that you can mount these for some really cool uh, point of views now let's look at that clothespin line all right so really easy look at that right there if you're not moving and you're not off-road bad, you can mount it here and get all kinds of point of view of yourself and 
depending on how you angle it, you can get whoever's riding shotgun right here. That's where their head would be. And the people in the back can get their, get them on frame. If the roads get rough, you use the clothespin part, stick it on to your uh, visor and it won't move then. Another place that I found, and I've used this before for us FJ cruiser users, cruiser users. Just clip it onto the glove box right there. <clears throat> Stays pretty good. You got right good control of it. Uh, again, your GoPro app monitor right there. Uh, those are my favorite mounts. And those are my favorite mount locations. Uh, let me know if you've got any better ideas. Uh, let me know which ones of these you think is best. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. I'm hungry, man. I brought a sandwich and a granola bar, so uh, I'm gonna get those out. Hey, that's weird. My Diet Coke came out of the refrigerator at home. It's been in an insulated cooler with a bunch of other items from the refrigerator. And it's warmer than everything else out here. Oh, I'm over this cold bullshit. I like it, but uh, I don't love it. And I'm getting tired of living it. Winters are six months fucking long. And it's too long. Four months would be cool. I could handle that. So, I'm gonna start looking for a winter cottage cabin somewhere south of here. So we're at elevation 9460. It's 30 degrees. I wasn't thinking that there'd be that much snow still here. I remember my summer hikers and they're wet. Oh well. Let's get out of here. this way and I've got it charging by the cable plugged into the console a lot of possibilities with that one claw grip okay yet one another other way of mounting this this will get you looking forward. You're not mounted outside on this, which really doesn't matter. Uh, 
Except that does give you more play. Like you, you can still move them all different which ways. This is a great, great, great GoPro claw grip mount. All right, so I've been chilling out, taking still pictures here at the lake. I figure I'm just gonna keep on going down 41. I think it goes to Lily Lake, Cascade Lake, or something like that, or uh, I'm brain farting on the names of them. Uh, my only first concern was that if the gate to 41 in the lakes is closed, then I gotta turn back. But if I gotta turn back, no well, big deal. It's a nice ride. So that's what we're gonna do. For sure if anybody has or since the last snowfall but now I get here and I'm not sure which way to go Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, see ya. Fuck, I hate when that happens. What was I coming over here for? I mean, it's only from there to here, from the back to here, and I forgot it already. What was I coming up here to get? Or do? Damn it!